A change in health insurance plan for Wilkes students includes an increase in cost, but also an increase in coverage. This year now, it does cover the physical exam, and it does have um, a benefit in there for birth control. Plus, it goes up to $100,000, okay, which is something that we never had before. The new plan covers $3,000 of hospital stay and then 80% copay up to $100,000. Though, Burns says students are unlikely to reach that maximum. The group of students that we're dealing with, which is a mostly healthy community, okay, mm -hmm. it's very mm -hmm. unlikely that you would use any portion of that um, yeah. besides the 3000 However, the plan is put in place in case of emergencies. We've provided broader coverage uh, to students so that if there is something a little more catastrophic that were to occur, then they are going to be covered. Coverage for preventative care is now included, including regular checkups. There's a, a preventative care piece in there that uh, would encourages students uh, uh, to maintain good health and maintain contact with health care providers and that sort of thing. Burns says they chose the plan because it offers better benefits. And what we do every year is we contract for um, the best policy that we can get for the best price, okay? And this year with the new Obama um, laws, mm -hmm. we contracted with this company because the benefits are are much better than the benefits we had previously. Under the Affordable Care Act, the university has new requirements to meet. Part of the Affordable Care Act, the you know the Obama health care program, uh, there were some new requirements, some new minimum requirements that needed to be met in order to provide health care for college students. They also decided to make the switch to better suit students' needs. We were looking for a plan that would that would um, benefit the students the most. You know, mm -hmm. as I said, this is a healthy healthy um, community, but you have students that you know have may have something happen and they need some kind of coverage. You know, mm -hmm. and instead of incurring large um, medical fees, um, if they have a plan like this, part of it at least is paid for for them. The new plan costs one thousand and ninety eight dollars a year compared to the previous seven hundred and seventy four dollar plan. This increase is due to the new benefits offered. Anytime there's, <laughs> anytime there's an increase in cost, it's a burden on students. And uh, we went with a, a new provider this year, a new company, and we looked very carefully at trying to control cost while at the same time um, providing coverage that was going to be more student friendly. And Byrne said the benefits outweigh the cost. I think I think it is a benefit to the students. Okay. You know, I mean, if if something should happen and you need coverage, I mean, this is a really good policy to have. Mm -hmm. The university health insurance plan corresponds with the school policy requiring all undergraduates have insurance. Well, it's a it's a university policy that all students must have some kind of student health insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and the reason they apply the charge right to their account is, um, you know, they want to ensure that they get all of the students with some kind of health care. Allen said this complies with the recommended guidelines from the American College Health Association. Well, it's at the uh, the recommended guidelines uh, by uh, the American College Health Association uh, recommends that all full-time undergraduates have health insurance coverage. Allen said the university makes sure to remind those who don't need the coverage to remove the plan from their accounts. We've we've used phone, electronic communication, snail mail, etc. because the last thing you want to do is uh, bill somebody for something that that they don't need. The full list of benefits under the new plan is available at the health and wellness site at Wilkes.edu. I'm Kirsten Cook reporting for Wilkes Now.